Hello students. Today we start a new chapter. Construction material management. In a construction material management, we discuss about the how to manage the material. Then after discuss about discuss about the man, man, material management functions. Then after inventory management job layouts and uh, factor affecting job layouts and uh, advantages of job layout and how to prepare job layout for a construction material management so now what is construction material management so a typical construct project require various material like uh, cement sand aggregate then after uh, steel glass wood etc so here varieties of material is required varieties of material required to complete any project so your first thing is a variety of material so cement sand aggregate steel then after uh, wooden glass aluminum section all these things are required and uh, all these things are required material is uh, time is different like steel is required for a uh, uh, rcc work then after brick uh, brick work is required brick is required for a uh, wall construction or a brick work time so here importance of the material can be gauged from the fact in the building share the uh, share of the materials cost about uh, 55 percent so here overall cost from the overall cost 55 percent is a material cost and uh, 25 percent is a labor cost and uh, another cost like uh, lubricant petrol oil etc and overhead cost is then after tax component and uh, etc total profit about uh, five percent of each so here these are the general requirement and a percentage or a weightage of the uh, weightage of the material cost and uh, labor cost in a overall cost so here the main objective of the material management is uh, first one is uh, to minimize the material cost so here if we manage the material like uh, here like just example like if we construct a slab so here material management is compulsory required so first we list out the material required material and then after we purchase the material from the market clear so here if we purchase the material as per our requirement so here material cost is minimized because we purchase the material as per our requirement and in, in the form the quantity so material cost is minimized second is to provide and uh, provide material of a desired quantity when required so here in a material management this one is a most important point so here material required time so here if we uh, if the material required on a uh, like a construction uh, like, like a brick work is start so here required material like brick cement sand so we require brick work material this brick cement and sand at the time of the brick work construction so here uh, in a desired quantity like quantity we calculated and in a desired quantity we purchase the material so another material wastage is reduced and uh, extraordinary cost is not a fix uh, for a particular material now next is uh, to reduce the investment type so here in a material management this one is an important point to reduce the investment tide so in a investment tide like a some of the material we purchase but it's a, a dump in a construction site or a area because uh, there are no any requirement at that time so our our uh, investment is fixed for the particular material so here if we manage the material as per our requirement so we uh, we are not invest the much more amount in a particular material second uh, uh, fourth one is a uh, to purchase the river receive transportation and store material efficient efficiently to reduce the related 
cost and uh, here if we purchase the material as per our requirement so we reduce the cost we are already discussed in a first topic minimize the material cost next is to cut down the cost through simplification standardization uh, value analysis and import uh, substitution so these are the important thing so cut down the cost like if we use the simple material and uh, we purchase the material uh, nearby area or uh, we use the standard material uh, at which the uh, production is uh, is there so this uh, material minimize the cost of the material or cut down the cost next is a to modify pre-work uh, procedure in order to minimize the delay in procuring material so here pre-work means before starting of the work we already discuss about the required material or analyze the required material and then after quantity of the material required is analyzed or analysis is done so then after we modify or uh, uh, sorry we purchase the material and uh, we minimize the delay because uh, like uh, just example like after two days tiles work is start clear so in a tiles work required material is tiles cement and sand so this material required material we purchase before a one day so here delay is not uh, done because we manage the material on a time then after to train personal in the field of material management in order to increase the operational efficiency so these are the main objective of the material management and uh, in a g2 examination also uh, this question asked in a g2 examination so like in a summary of the material management aim is to provide the right item of the right quantity in a right time in a right place and in a right price is a main motto or aim of the material management so like uh, here second important topic is start is a material management function so here material management function are described as below like uh, material planning so here the site engineer is responsible for this function so material planning is a responsibility main responsibility of the uh, site engineer and site engineer is purchase the material and inform them now next is uh, in order to have in order to have control the material purchase it is to be good idea how uh, have a some specific engineer approving material uh, material approval uh, and the site planning engineer make the purchase requisition in a construction with a construction management or a manager so material schedules uh, should be uh, on the basis of rising the material requisition and the material planning involve identify the material estimating the quantity define the specific and uh, forecasting uh, requirement and uh, locating the right sources for procurement so these are the main function of the uh, material management next is a uh, procurement so here before procurement site planning engineer along with the material engineer survey the local market and identify the local material which is available directly from the market so like a uh, in a rajasthan area uh, stone is easily available or uh, in a nominal cost as compared to another state because uh, uh, in a rajasthan area stone is uh, available in a local market and uh, manufacturing process and etc all things are done in a rajasthan in a lower cost and easily so local procurement should be kept um, kept to the minimum as far as po possible limited to non engineer item uh, and uh, this uh, thing is uh, procurement uh, is done from the head office or uh, centralized purchase because uh, from the centralized purchase uh, we reduce the cost because quantity is most important thing so from the quantity we purchase the if we purchase the material from the uh, quantity 
सो वी रिड्यूस दी ओवरऑल कॉस्ट ऑफ दी मटीरियल एंड हेड मटीरियल मैनेजमेंट एंड साइड मटीरियल इंजीनियर एंश्योर दी प्रोक्योरमेंट इज एज पर दी टर्म एंड कंडीशन ऑफ दी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो दीज आर दी प्रोक्योरमेंट इज अ इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग थर्ड फंक्शन इज कस्टडी रिसीविंग एंड वेयर हाउसिंग एंड इश्यूइंग सो द मेन डॉक्यूमेंट्स यूज आर इनवर्ड रजिस्टर एंड मटीरियल रिसिप्ट नॉट इट्स कॉल एम आर एन एंड डिलीवरी चलन एंड इन डिस्पैच कवरिंग नॉट एंड आउटवर्ड रजिस्टर एंड रिपेयर रजिस्टर एंड प्लान एंड मशीनरी मूवमेंट रजिस्टर सो दीज आर दी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एनी मटीरियल परचेज और एनी मटीरियल स्टोर इन अ वेर हाउस इज और इन अ गोडाउन सो हियर वी एक्जेक्टली आइडिया अबाउट द स्टॉक ऑफ द मटीरियल एंड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द मटीरियल फ्रॉम दी दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन नेक्स्ट इज अ मटीरियल अकाउंटिंग सो हियर इन अ मटीरियल अकाउंटिंग द मेन पर्पज ऑफ द मटीरियल अकाउंटिंग इज अ मॉनिटरिंग द इनफ्लो एंड कंजप्शन ऑफ द रो मटीरियल सो इन अ मटीरियल अकाउंटिंग वी कैलकुलेट दी लाइक जस्ट एग्जाम्पल लाइक इन अ गोडाउन देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड सीमेंट बैग इज देर क्लियर एंड टूडे वी यूज दी हंड्रेड बैग्स ऑफ द सीमेंट सो वी प्रिपेयर अ डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर दी इनफ्लो एंड आउटफ्लो सो लाइक मॉनिटरिंग द इनफ्लो एंड वी परचेज दी फाइव हंड्रेड अनदर बैग सो टोटल फ्रॉम दी थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस वन हंड्रेड प्लस वी एड दी एक्स्ट्रा फाइव हंड्रेड बैग्स ऑफ दी सीमेंट क्लियर सो टोटल सेवन हंड्रेड बैग इज अवेलेबल इन अवर गोडाउन सो हियर material stock and uh, material issue and material re return monthly stock etc are uh, uh, written in a document is a material accounting now uh, next is a uh, wasted during the procurement can result from the various factor like uh, buying the material of a wrong specification so wastage is generated then after buying more than the actual requirement so waste is generated then after unnecessary buying of the item to cater the unrealistic and unforeseen uh, and uh, ultimately buying of a short life material and uh, improper and unnecessary handling of the material and some other reason of the wastage of the material are like a breakage or damage during the handling then after lack of uh, pre work uh, preparation and uh, coordination and uh, inferior quality of the material and improper accounting or a poor store keeping like uh, if there is requirement is uh, 100 bag cement and uh, in a stock uh, stock is not properly uh, written so here in a stock like a 50 uh, bag of the cement in a go down so we purchase the another 15 bag to complete the work of the 100 bag cement but 100 bag is already in a go down so it's a by mistake we are not uh, record or a poor record of the store keeping and uh, then after unforeseen circumstances like accidents fire etc so material is damaged and uh, wastage is generated and then after high rate of the deterioration due to long storage of the uh, storage of, at the place of work and uh, overall issue from the central store and uh, failure to return uh, failure to return unseen uh, surplus material and uh, it's a uh, generator wastage of the material next is uh, next uh, function is a uh, transportation so the construction material used uh, at the project site undergo considerable movement right from the point of the origin to storage point and to the actual point of the conception so in some construction companies material are first received from the central store and from where they are dispatched to the project store located project at the uh, site and uh, the construction material could be in the form of the raw material 
such as a aggregate sand or a plywood and uh, they may be in a uh, semi finished from such a mixed mortar mixed concrete and uh, dressed this stone and uh, in a general raw material procurement is uh, within the scope of the material management team and uh, while procurement uh, semi finished material comes under the uh, preview of the construction team and uh, proper care should be taken while planning for the transportation of the raw material and uh, semi finished material from the uh, one place to another place so here transportation is the uh, most important thing so uh, construction site and uh, go down our go down or a storage area is not a much more uh, distance from the not a much more distance because if the distance is increased transportation cost is increased uh, material transportation cost is increased so it's an important thing now next is a inventory monitoring and a control so this topic we uh, discuss in a next lecture inventory monetary control and uh, another inventory management is discussed in a next lecture so we today we stop here lecture thank you